Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and we're gonna take a look at since a cyberpunk ghost story again. Yeah, we talked about this game the other day that a lot of people on Twitter were throwing shade at the developer Top Hat Studios because some of the characters are pretty well endowed and for some reason, uh, because it's Twitter, Twitter decided to equate well endowed cartoon women with actual violence against women uh, over one game, one video game that doesn't even look that bad, to be honest, compared to other stuff I've seen. But for some reason, they're, they're coming after Top Hat Studios. And I think part of it is that Top Hat Studios refuses to bend the knee to the Twitter outrage mob. And I applaud them for that. I think more companies, more developers, more publishers absolutely need to stop listening to the Twitter outrage mob if they want to do what's best for their business because they are a very, very, very vocal minority, a very small percentage of people. And most of them are not even gamers. Most of them are not even fans of franchises that they constantly prowl around looking to attack. They're just miserable people on Twitter. So anyway, there has been an update to this that people were calling out Top Hat Studios saying that they were making this up. There's no way they got legit death threats over a stupid video game with big boobs. And they provided the proof. They provided the receipts. And we're going to look at some of those ridiculous tweets. And I can tell you, as a YouTuber, as someone who has spent time on Twitter, and as someone who produces YouTube content that Twitter very often does not like, yes, you do get threats. You get threats often. Okay, it's their way of trying to, now I don't think anybody's actually serious, I'm gonna be honest, but it is their way of trying to scare you, beat you down into submission. Uh, and it's sad that this is happening over a freaking video game. You don't like the boobs, you don't buy the game. It's really that simple. So we're gonna talk about it. Before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 166,000 subs, I believe and uh, growing, hoping to hit 200,000 soon. Thank you so much for the support 2020 for us in terms of YouTube has actually been very, very good. Uh, it's definitely appreciated, guys. You have no idea. So yeah, this is coming from Nintendo Life. Uh, and this is a follow-up to the story that uh, Top Hat refuses to censor its game after receiving death threats. And they flat out said, the game will not be censored. We categorically refuse. They released a very, uh, very good statement. Go back to the previous video to see what they said, but they basically said the game is rated M. Uh, it is a throwback to cyberpunk uh, anime and games and imagery from the 80s and 90s. There's nothing wrong with boobs on cartoon women. If you don't like it, don't buy the game, and we're not going to kowtow to you. Well, Twitter just won't have that. Uh, so after they refused to bend the knee, Twitter accused them or possibly some gaming journalists accuse them of making this up. Why would they make this up? They're a pretty reputable publisher. Why would they make up uh, this kind of, of uh, ridiculousness? And this is what they said. This is an update. We're going to look at some of these tweets. Uh, here's the, the follow-up response to their initial post. We originally did not want to make this post as to not accidentally incite a search for these posters and cause further fights. However, as there are now industry adjacent people, indus I think journalists, in industry adjacent people slandering and gaslighting us as liars, we've compiled a sampling from Twitter, Facebook, and email. Skepticism is healthy in the industry, but it's not universally applied. Not only were many of these comments actively findable in ten less than 10 seconds to verify, but many curious individuals seem to have a vetted interest in slandering us as liars because of their connections. We don't blame people for being skeptical, but keep this energy toward other claims. This isn't a marketing campaign. This, the game released five months ago originally. This was a preemptive response to what we saw as a rising ridiculous spread of lies and slurs aimed at us. We can play semantics, but if you can't understand why a response uh, to such as needed, you're being willfully obtuse. We couldn't let false, hateful info spread and also wanted to reinforce our stance against creative infringement. Certainly got bigger than we expected. 
With that said, we appreciate sincerely the overwhelming support. Really, as we've said, we didn't want to make this post, but we're not going to allow people to spread lies, no less from those with a vetted interest in calling us liars. So we aren't changing Sense's content. So let's go out to their tweet. Uh, here is their tweet thread. And they posted a bunch of ridiculous, threatening tweets. And uh, yeah, you can go verify these for yourself. I'm just going to read a couple. Uh, Stupid effing garbage incel BS you're peddling. Hope you get the rope. Disgusting. I hope you get shot, incels. Do you have any idea the harm you're causing to women? Disgusted you would market porn to children and saying we'll be contacting Nintendo. Good luck with that. I don't think they give a shit. Uh, Nintendo dedicates itself to promote a male-gazed, pornified version of women. I feel for the young girls starting to realize how objectified their bodies are in society. I understand their pain and desire to to escape, to escape, escape femininity. Uh, Why would you want this hypersexualized object? Disgusting, sexist, offensive. Um... Sex doll face. What else? We Here's your address. They posted an address. address. Uh, legitimately effing disgusting that anyone would make this. Hope you reconsider. Women's voices are being denied in the industry. Men pretending to be women are invading safe spaces for female developers. What? And now you got to bring out a game like Sense to make things even harder for women. Uh, can you like not do this? How many effing real actual women do you have on your team? Any? Even one? Um, and some of these are obvious trolls. I mean, they, they say some pretty derogatory things. Uh, I would say they say some pretty anti-trans things. I don't know what side of the, uh, the fence they're trying to pander to, but it just looks like they're trying to cause chaos. 666 Twisted. Hope you enjoy the coming legal action. Is the woman on the left smuggling watermelons through Australia's airport customs? This is the only explanation I can think of because real women do not look like that in Nintendo games. Uh, Sack the incel game developers. Here are more. Um, The art is over-sexualized. It's degrading to women. Typical Japanese anime-looking sexualized trash. What age is the designer? Fecking five-year-olds. Nintendo gets a fecking grip. There is no fecking need for this shite. Uh, porn soaked feckers. Do you have any idea how much harm you're causing the women? Uh, would be a shame if something was sent to blacked out, huh? Yeah, this is ridiculous, you know, and it's probably a very small handful of people with a bunch of bot accounts. We know how that works. Uh, you know, oh, here we got the Yahtzee word thrown in there. Uh, rotten hell. Um, the fact that both you and Nintendo feel fine pushing out harmful products, encouraging violence against women is a blatant breach of the law. Expect a written the mail sometime soon. If I find my child playing this, I expect both you and Nintendo to hear from my, both me and my lawyer. Um, This is blank from blank. I recently saw an article on Nintendo Life about your game. This is presumably how you've gotten onto it by lying about the content on your game when it's clearly prawn. The fact that you would be you would so brazenly attempt to sell this to minors is not only morally deficit, but blatant breach of child safety and obscenity laws. Do you understand this? Do you even care? We will be contacting Nintendo. You know, this is not the worst game that's available on Switch, and it's not the first game like this that's available on Switch. In fact, the developers came out and said, uh, this is predominantly a survival horror game. The characters just happen to be well endowed it is clearly marked m it's rated m and peggy 18. nintendo knows full well what kind of content their developers are putting on their platform i think when it comes to third parties unless it's really egregious they wash their hands of it because sony has gone sensor happy and has actually turned off a lot of gamers no pun intended uh to their platform whereas nintendo shockingly enough is letting people put pretty much whatever they want on their system so long as it's marked accordingly and it's for a certain audience and it's not a first party uh, Nintendo title. So yeah, I mean, this is ridiculous. We, we've seen this happen more and more in, in uh, gaming, in comics, uh, definitely gaming more so than, than comics or animation or movies or anything like that because gaming is a huge platform. And you know, it's whoever controls that platform controls the youth 
of today, but it's nothing but a moral panic. Uh, it's a moral panic. Uh, we've seen this with Dungeons and Dragons. We saw it with Mortal Kombat. We saw it with Doom. And now it's, it's happened to boobs. Any games with boobs, because boobs are bad. Uh, boobs are bad. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, go check these tweets out for yourself. I don't want to read all of them because I don't think YouTube would like that. Some of them are, are pretty, uh, pretty spicy and they definitely cross a couple of lines. But uh, check it out. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, including more video game news uh, in relation to subjects we're interested in, games we're interested in. And check out Clownfish TV Gaming, our gaming channel. We'll talk to you guys later.